What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Double Dribble. And in today's episode we're going to be talking about Josh Christopher or Jay Gup as some people like to call him, you know, his nickname. Uh, before we get into this video, I just want to quickly say if you enjoy basketball, um, you enjoy talking basketball, um, just having conversations about basketball, whether it's high school, college, or NBA, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, um, join this channel, watch all the videos, leave some comments down below. Uh, we love interacting with you guys and having conversations with you guys. Um, so hit the like button on this video, hit the subscribe button, and let's get right into it. So today we're going to be talking about Josh Christopher and uh, just his season at um, Arizona State so far. Um, his freshman year, how he's playing, um, you know, just how his season's going and what his uh, kind of draft stock and why um, it may seem to be falling right now. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for that, um, but let's get right into talking about his um, freshman year season. So for his first season here at um, ASU, playing the Pac-12, he is currently averaging, um, when I record this video, he's averaging 15.3 points per game. Um, he's shooting 44% from the field, which is, you know, that's pretty all, it's all right. It's not the best, obviously like 50% or above, um, but it's not the worst. Um, he's shooting 32% from three. Um, again, that's not the best, but definitely not the worst. Um, it's above 30%. You know, he's at 32. Uh, could be better, but also it's not um, not terrible. Uh, along with the 15 points per game, he's bringing in 5 rebounds a game and 1.5 assists. Um, he also has 22 steals in the year on 14 games. So, uh, you know, he's averaging over one steal a game, so that's good to see. Um, so overall, uh, freshman year in the Pac-12, he is playing uh, playing pretty well. However, um, his draft stock is currently falling, and uh, there is a couple reasons for that, and I'll touch on those. Um, the first being the fact that Arizona State is not very good this year. They are currently six and nine, and three and six in the Pac-12. Um, you know, it's kind of tough when he goes to when he's playing on a team like this where uh, they should be good, but they just aren't very good this year. They're not finding ways to win games. Um, obviously, below 500 at six and nine, and then our three and six in the conference play. Uh, that's just gonna have a little bit of effect on his draft stock. Um, draft stock on the fact that you know he can't help a team win or help a team have above a 500. Um, win percentage, just things like that. When you go to a team that's just not playing up to their potential or not playing very well, it's obviously going to have a little knock on you. And uh, that is one of the beginning reasons of why his draft stock seems to be falling. Um, another reason uh, is the fact that he's just not shooting the ball great. Um, even in high school, one knock on his game is the fact that he might not have a very reliable jumper. And people, well, I should say by jumper, three-point shot, you know, mid-range, things like that, he can knock that down. But once you get behind the three-point three point line, that's where people are concerned on if his jump shot was going to be reliable enough. Um, in high school, they're talking about, is he going to be reliable in college? How's he going to do in college? And now he's into college. He's playing 14 games. He shot 57 three-pointers. He's only made 18 for 31, 31.6%. Um, like I stated, it's not the worst thing in the or worst percentage in the world, but also um, isn't the best. Obviously, if you're a shooter, uh, you want to be closer to 40% or above from three point um, from the three point line, and he's currently at 32. A um, little below. That's another knock on him that his jumper is not reliable enough from behind the three point line, and that is another reason why um, his draft stock currently. Um, is falling or he might not be as high on draft boards as he would like to see or people thought he would be um, and the third reason that um, I've noticed this year so far I've been hearing is his defense uh, yes I touched on earlier that he's at, or has 22 steals on 14 games um, but they're wondering if he can defend at the next level uh, he can be lazy at times um, just not just ball caught ball watch and things like that and just um, not care enough on the defensive end is the main thing. Um, you know, lots of players that are the star in high school are good in college and the go-to guy. 
Uh, they struggle to play defense. I know Lonzo, his knock coming out of college is can he play defense, and now he's one of the top defenders, wing defenders in the NBA. Um, Lamelo, his knock was can he play defense? Does he care to play defense? And in the NBA, he's not a great defender. He's pretty average or even below average right now. But his play on offense is making up for those defensive mistakes and the lack thereof defense that he plays. Um, so there are ways around it and ways to help your team in the NBA, obviously, um, other than playing defense or if you're not very good at defense. Uh, teams are scoring in the 130s, 120s. So there's not much defense being played in the NBA the way it is. Um, that's just another knock that I've been hearing on his game. So those three things, the fact that Arizona State just isn't very good, um, he still hasn't proved that his jump shot from three-point range is very reliable. Um, even going to the NBA, obviously the line is farther back. Um, teams are wondering if he's going to be able to shoot threes in the NBA. Um, at his size, 6'5", 215. Obviously, he's got to be a wing, you know, a two-man, three-man. Um, so he's got to be able to knock down the three. And NBA teams, NBA scouts are just um, not fully convinced that he's going to be able to do that at a... Um, I shouldn't even say high percentage, but just a decent percentage. So um, those two things, along with the fact that people are still wondering if he's going to want to play defense or have the you know the care to play defense all the time, not just sometimes when they need to stop. Um, those three things are what is currently bringing his stock down or bringing his draft, um, bring him down the draft um, draft boards. And other than that, it kind of sucks that these things are overshadowing his uh, freshman season that he's having at ASU. Like I said, he's been playing really well. Uh, he never lacks confidence. He's played pretty good almost every single game except for two. Um, at Arizona, he only had five points, played 29 minutes, shot one of eight, and 0 for three from three. And then here in this last game against Oregon, he started but only played 17 minutes. He shot 0 of four from the field and 0 of two from three. Um, only had, he had four rebounds and then he had zero points. So. Uh, this last game, for some reason, only played 17 points and had, or 17 minutes, had zero points. So that's another thing to keep an eye on. Uh, is he having attitude issues, um, getting down because the team's not winning, um, different things like that. So, um, leaving the comments down below, what do you think of Josh Christopher or Jacob, as some people like to call him? Um, do you think he has what it takes to be a star in the NBA? I think he can be a very good player in the NBA. He just needs to work on that jumper, uh, make sure it's reliable enough in the NBA, or um, so that people have to, you know, respect it, close out to him so he's able to get by him, get to the rim, attack, um, break down defense like he did in high school and now is doing in college. So uh, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Uh, we'll be sure to respond, have some conversation with you guys. Um, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, help us get to 1,000 subscribers, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.